Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another installment of my top five products of a certain kind. Today, as you can tell by the title, it's my top favorite highlighters. I did another one of these videos before and it was my top five favorite foundations. So I'll link that below if you guys also wanna check that out. Um, I'm just gonna put it out there. Unfortunately, there aren't any drugstore highlighters in this video there are some in my foundation ones but it's just basically because I just haven't found any highlighters from the drugstore that are really really good um drugstore get on that seriously what's that about there just aren't any like that I know of anyway let me know if you guys know of any but I just haven't found any but I will say that when you're gonna invest in a luxury product a highlight a highlighter is something good to go for because it will last you a lot longer than say a foundation or a concealer which tend to run out really quickly so at least if you invest in a highlighter it's gonna last you a lot longer so you're gonna get a more bang for your buck if that makes any sense you also don't need all of these um, one will do you but I have a problem so I need them all obviously that is me you don't need them all. Okay, so I think that is enough rambling. I'm just gonna show you my top five highlighters. What was that? Wait, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna show you my favorite ones and some of them I've just talked about a lot already. Of course, the first one I'm going to talk about is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is in the shade Opal, but it's just beautiful. It is more on the bronzy uh, side of a champagne highlight, so it does work on more pale skin, but it does help to be a little bit more tanned because it has more kind of bronze undertones in it, but it's just absolutely stunning. It gives a very intense highlight, but it's also still a natural glow if you just use a tiny bit. What I just love about this is um, it doesn't go on very chunky, if that's the word. When I use this, I just feel like it kind of glides on and just really seamlessly and kind of silky onto the skin, if that makes sense. So it's not like chunks of glitter on my face. It's just very, very natural, but yet glowy at the same time. Oh, I just love him. All right, so next one that I absolutely adore. It's more of a recent purchase. I've only had it a couple of months. Um, but God, man, am I getting a dent in there. <laughs> And it is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. Once again, this is more on the pinky bronze shade of a highlight. So there's quite pinky undertones, but it's more bronze. But it does have more of a kind of golden reflex going through it. These Mineralize Skin Finishes are absolutely beautiful. They go on very, very natural onto the skin. But if you overdo it, they can go very chunky and glittery because they... I don't know, they are quite powdery. You don't need that much, so it just gives a really, really lovely glow. Next product is something that I've had for ages, but I use it a lot, but I don't use it in that many videos because I used it in a lot of videos a while ago, and then you just get newer products and you use them because they're new and they're more exciting. But this is just like a staple, I feel, in like any highlight collection if if you have one of those like me <laughs> and it's the NARS Albatross highlighter and this is going to be really really nice for pale skin tones but it's also going to look lovely on tan like I use it when I'm pale and I use it when I'm tanned also because as you can see it's that really really white gold highlighter so probably to you it looks white but when you look up close it's just got reflex of gold going through it and it just gives a stunning uh like oh i can't even i don't i'm so bad at explaining it but it just gives like a stunning kind of um golden champagne highlight if that makes sense pretty 
Very nice, yes, yes, very nice. Um, it's not shimmery or glittery, but it does just have a nice sheen to it, so it's not going to be like, bam, disco ball on your face. So you Next one is an absolutely amazing highlighter. I do not hear it talked about enough. I mean, I really feel like these don't get enough hype. Uh, like as what they deserve and it is the Inglot um, sparkling dust and there it says for face eyes body these are amazing amazing products and this is the one I use the most and it's the shade 2 and oh, guys like this is just the most beautiful golden bronze highlight you will like ever use in your entire life i don't want to turn over too much because i don't want it to go everywhere it's just so beautiful and like these are intense like oh my god like one tiny little swipe literally gives you an insane amount of pigmentation so these are going to last you for a long time and these are actually not that expensive i literally think they're only 20 euro 21 euro which for the amount of product you get the amount of time it's going to last you is not that expensive at all oh it's just beautiful it's really really nice like okay and the last product in my top five highlighters um is this Stila Kitten Duo. I don't know if they have these on their own or if they only come in duos. This is just the one I found in store. And it basically comes with Stila Kitten in like a more br like a bronzy one and then this more kind of pinky champagne which I feel is the actual Stila Kitten um, colour. But I like to mix the two. They're just absolutely stunning shades and I like that you get two because maybe if you're more pale you can use the more pinky champagne and then you can also use the bronze one if you're a bit more bronzed. But it's just beautiful. It's a very, it's nice because it's got that more pinky tone to it but these are just absolutely beautiful. Like I said before they're not glittery or chunky so they just give you that really natural sheen where you're not like absolutely sparkling as you go down the street. You've just kind of got a nice natural glow to your face. And it's such a pretty cute compact little packaging. And that is everything in my top five uh, highlighters. Um, if you want to check out my top five foundations, there are drugstore ones in that and I will link that below for you. Um, and yeah, I would also really, really appreciate if you guys would tell me what you would like to see next in this series. So would you guys like to see my top favourite blushers or bronzers or concealers? Just let me know down below so I can do that one next for you. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.